Welcome back to the channel everybody and happy Father's Day. It's going to be a really great day on the water. We're going up to a flowage today to work on some multi-species fishing. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this one. Here comes a guy, I'm gonna back you in here. Oh, something picked it up down there. Well, I'm getting a, I'm getting some of those wildflowers from. Got them. Walleye. Ah, there we go. Got a keeper. So. Nope. It's good to know. A little jig and a crawler. Yeah. Pretty healthy though, nice and fat. A lot of food in there. Yeah. It's a good one to start the day. Plus. I think that's what happened. I think it hit it twice because it, you know, I said, oh, just missed one. And what's the slot? Ooh, nice. Looks like it. Oh, what happened? What do you think it was? The way it was fighting, big walleye. Oh. Stand down, it wasn't running. Northern's gonna kick off to the side. Yeah, that's right. And a bass is gonna shake. He just he was just a heavy thump on the bottom. Was it a light bite? He's not a big fish. He's kinda of almost like bass, but a little smaller. A little smaller. Oh yeah, that's what it is. This is a little bitty one. Yep. Cool. Well, yeah. Too shallow, I think. Six foot wheat should be really good for it. Yeah. Got him. Okay. Nice walleye. Get the net. Yep. Keep down. Nice keeper. Yeah, might be. Might All be right. Keeper. Nice. Right in the middle of those weeds back there. It followed it up out of the water. You saw it come up? No, but my, my bait was two feet off the bottom. Oh. I was like, and I felt this, the lightest tug. Nice, you can throw that in the water. That's a good eater. 15 and an eighth. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Uh, good for you, Corey. Yeah, well thanks. Some of the lightest biting walleye, they kind of do anyway, but it's really light today. Whether or not, yeah. If you're not paying attention. It's just as deep as deep, deep weeds with, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of bait fish in it. Got another one. Okay. Little walleye. You gonna hoist him? Yeah. Okay. Kind of like the first one I caught. Is that a keeper? No. Oh, close. I'd say 13. Okay. Go ahead and hoist. Yeah, 12, 13. 13, yeah. Those are really, those are, those are really good eating. I know, and the boundary waters, these are the ones we keep and cook. Wow, yeah, and in Minnesota too, because Perfect. the slot in Minnesota is 17 and under. That's so sad yeah. that you can't keep these here. Wow, those are good eating. Keep these, let the other ones go back and spawn. 
Absolutely. That's Wisconsin's got it backwards, of course. They're, I mean, I like the DNR. They have a purpose, but they've completely got that one screwed up, and they should start taking notes from other states. Well, I'm just the guide. You're the guide? Yep. <laughs> oh, God, Corey. I'm guiding you on Father's Day. It's my service. <laughs> What's so funny? You're, you're guiding me on a lake I've been fishing for 64 years. Well, I'm showing you new spots. <laughs> Never fished here before. Uh, this I've, over here I fish. We used to drift the middle of this. As the day went on, my dad and I drove around the lake we looked for a few different areas to fish. Mile after mile, we couldn't seem to locate any more walleye, and we couldn't even find pike, something that we know there are a lot of in this lake. We found a few small panfish, but that was it. So instead, we decided to look around for different campsites that I could possibly stay at in the future with my wife to film more videos and have some fun. Let me know what you think. Well, that wasn't the easiest day on the water. Totally cool. My goal was pike, panfish, bass. But we did get into some walleye, actually a really nice eater. So I'm really glad to have that. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another good video. Those camping videos will be coming up shortly.